I swear I have moved every three months <laughs> for the last year. But anyway, this time I'm moving for clinical. Welcome to this week's vlog, first of all. Um, it is moving day. I didn't vlog the whole week because I really wanted to focus on just vlogging my move and getting to Tampa, showing you the Airbnb. And um, I'm gonna do, it's like a two and a half hour drive uh, to Tampa from where I'm at. So I'm just gonna give you kind of a recap once I'm on the highway of how my week was, um, how my last day of my first clinical rotation was, and just go over kind of how I felt at the beginning and where I am now after having my first four months of clinical. So that's the plan. I have um, a full car of things. Um, my roommate, we're getting the same place. Um, we're splitting a place in Tampa, so I have some of their stuff and some of my stuff. So we're just gonna um, drive separate. He's towing the boat, so that way I'm not following him um, and taking forever. So I'm probably gonna be a little bit before him. So I'll get to do like a full tour and everything, which I'm excited about. Yeah, that is the plan. Um, hopefully I will have, it's Saturday morning, so hopefully there won't be traffic. I know Tampa can get pretty crazy. So I'm hoping being a Saturday, it will help. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna focus on the road and once I get on the highway I'll kind of post the camera up and chat a little bit with you guys and you can keep me company on this long venture on this Saturday morning. There's actually way too much traffic to try and vlog while I was driving so I made it here, and let's go inside. Got a nice living area. It is huge. There's two bedrooms. So this one has like a bathroom. It's set up to be schoolwork. Huge full kitchen. Another bathroom, the other bedroom. As you can see, there's a little backyard with a picnic table. Obviously, it's always a little hard when you get an Airbnb because you don't know. Like, you can kind of tell from the pictures, but you don't actually know what it's going to be like. But it literally looks exactly like the pictures, and I think it's going to be perfect to live in for three months. So I'm excited, I'm gonna bring all of our stuff in, get unpacked, and then go get some lunch because I'm starving. It's almost noon, so we actually did pretty good on time. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to spend uh, the next three months here and see how it goes. We officially are unpacked, got everything settled, about to go get food, and then it started pouring. So it sounds like it's starting to chill out a little bit. Um, so now we're gonna go out, explore Tampa, get some food, cause it's two and I'm starving. And then probably just, it's so weird vlogging on me, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, I never vlog around anybody, so it's weird talking when somebody else is in the room. But, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go explore Tampa, might go to, we were gonna go to the aquarium, but it closed at like five, but definitely gonna do that one day. Um, we're gonna try and go scalloping tomorrow, I think, so probably have like a fun evening and then early night so that we can go um, do that tomorrow. But yeah, so we are all settled, got everything unpacked. I'm obsessed with the house. I think it's gonna be perfect, it's huge. Um, I wish this was my house, but for now, it's gonna be a really good place to be in Tampa, I think. I'm excited to get into the hospital next week. But yeah, I will give you guys a little update, like I said, on how my last week of clinical was. I'll do that a little bit later. And then, yeah, I will see you um, while we're out and about.
It's a bit loud, I don't know if you can hear me, but we just made it to the boat ramp. We're heading off to go scalloping today. I'll give you some updates as we go along. I'm pretty excited for the opening of scallop season. It's also 4th of July weekend, so it's kind of crazy already. But we got out a good time, it's almost nine, so we're gonna go out, see if we can limit out, and then do some fishing the rest of the day. So fingers crossed, um, we'll hit our limit and be able to fish, catch some like trout or something. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. I'll show you what it looks like as we go. The clinical is not so bad. <laughs> But I just wanted to pop on and do a little update on my last week of clinical, my last week of my first clinical rotation, and how I kind of felt at the beginning to now. Um, I start my next rotation tomorrow, so I'm just kind of chilling out. Today is actually the 4th of July, it's Monday, and I've just been doing schoolwork all day. Had this really long research assignment I had to get done, so really happy. I'm almost done. I have like one more thing to do for it, but I think I'm gonna call it because it's almost seven. I need to eat and just mentally prepare, relax before tomorrow. But I feel like my first rotation, obviously I started, didn't know what to expect. I had a couple observation days, so I guess I knew a little bit of what to expect, but didn't know how I was gonna feel doing the full thing. You know, this site wanted us to come in and just be ready and do everything. So the first, I'd say two months was really rough. Definitely the first month was the most rough, but I think people were, the CRNAs were a bit more understanding because they knew brand new, you know, they knew that we were new. So the first month was hard, the second month was hard, but the second month was like, okay, now I'm like figuring out how to intubate, figuring out the flow. Um, you start to feel like you're getting good at it. And then after that, it's like you almost, or for me, I almost regressed, I feel like a little bit, or if I would miss a really difficult intubation or something, or something just was hard, it was like a blow, you know, it didn't feel good because I was like, I thought I was getting this, it was getting easier. Um, but I just keep reminding myself that I'm still new and I'm only four months in. There's a reason that I have another basically year and a half um, before I finish of just clinical. So it's hard, I feel like at this point, because I'm getting good at things and then when I can't do something it's really hard or um, I get a new challenge or you know someone asks me a question I don't remember the answer it's it's rough because like you feel like you're making progress then you feel like you're taking steps back um, so I'm scared for this next rotation because I hope that a it's kind of similar to where I came from um, B I hope they still let me do as much as I was because my last rotation they were letting us um, obviously the CRNA was there the whole time, but they um, gave us the, you know, freedom to make choices and, you know, run things by them, but kind of gave, um, gave us the opportunity to get a flow and figure out how to do it. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one, but um, I don't know, I learned a lot and I mean, I was able to do, I already have all my heart numbers, so I've done a lot of hearts, a lot of neuro, um, I was able to do a lot and yeah, so if you are in the same place that I am or um, going into clinicals, just know that it's gonna get easier, but it's also gonna get hard in a different way. That's kind of where I'm at now. But I'm excited, like I said, to get into this new rotation and um, share with you guys how it goes. I'll let you know how my first week goes. Um, but yeah, I had a really fun weekend. 
did great scalloping yesterday, cleaned them all today. That was annoying, cleaned the boat and stuff, but um, it was a great kind of kickoff to being in Tampa. I love it so far. I'm kind of central to everything. So yeah, I'm um, excited to see where this rotation takes me. I think I said I'm excited like 30 times, so I'm sorry, I'm also tired. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. Thank you guys so much for watching um, my moving vlog and hearing about my end of um, clinical, end of my first clinical. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you're following, you're subscribed if you're not already, if you wanna follow along with where my anesthesia journey is taking me. I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm exhausted. Good night.